this is it guys today is the day the budget race car is getting sold guys so the buyer for the CRX is here and uh, he wasn't playing so we met at the track junior and uh, we, we spoke at the track about the CRX the fact that he was super interested Wait, what, what did you tell me you don't have to show me the time slip yeah. you're sold and um, he's here today he didn't he didn't lie he didn't he didn't flake he didn't low ball me he came here with the trailer from Reno Reno yeah how yeah. far is that like Five hours for you, maybe? Yep, five. five hours in the rain, which is technically snowing over there. And uh, he's here to pick up the car. It's funny because as soon as I pick up my camera, it starts raining. When when we were standing inside, it wasn't, it wasn't raining at all, right? <laughs> so the CRX, guys, uh, it, it's going as is. Other than my GSR blades, I am going to be throwing slicks with the car. But I cleared everything out that I need as far as stuff that belongs to me. But... Pretty much everything that I have modded in this car over the last year is staying with the car, even the gas canister. Everything under the hood is staying the same. And uh, you know, this is a pretty much turnkey, ready to go car. It's got the tune from when it went tens and uh, nothing has changed there. So hopefully um, when, you know, obviously time permits, they're gonna be taking it out to the track and uh, pretty much sending it. But not only that, you guys are gonna be making some changes to it too as well, right? Yep. All right, so I gave him the basic rundown on the car, everything that I've done, everything that comes with it, but you know, they're subscribers, so they already know what's done to the car. But you know, you just gotta have to give them an overlook so that they uh, know everything about it like deeply. I'm gonna give him a set of spark plugs cause I was gonna do that uh, for him anyways. You know, with the new setup and everything, I don't know if they're gonna retune or not, but I'm just gonna leave these brand new ones for them. This is the ECU. One of the subscribers sent me this ECU and uh, Miller fixed it. Yeah, so Miller fixed it right there, whatever slot that is. And uh, the ECU now is 100% functioning. We got the chip right there that was burned off of uh, Miller's, you know, ostrich that went tens. And now I'm gonna move the car to switch out my wheels. Got my blades off, got the spares on. Sorry, Chewy, I'm gonna give this away with the car and the coupe is gonna have another flat tire because y'all took the other one anyways. But it's got one of my other one here from Chad ZG and the slips are staying with the car like I've mentioned. But this is it, we're gonna load up on the trailer, have these guys be on their way. You guys are gonna pump E85 too, right? You guys have stations out there? No. Oh. So this car is on E85. Like I said, I'm gonna be giving them the jug as well too. And before they get out of the Bay Area, they're gonna go pump some E85 so they can have some fun when they get home. So let's get this sucker on the trailer and get you guys uh, back home in a timely manner.
itself because uh, the battery is not giving enough voltage. It's not charging because the battery is not this is it guys this is it this is this is not the last time I'm gonna see it but this is the last time that it's in my possession so you know hopefully you guys are just gonna have fun with it you know um, they got a lot of plans for it I'm looking forward to it I'm definitely gonna see them at the track hopefully uh, you know they have uh, a lot more fun with this car than I did because all the times that I've ever ran at the track, I've had issues, but when we finally squared it up, it went 10s, and granted, I didn't get to drive the car to 10s, but, you know, the fact that the car did what it did, I'm, I'm happy for it. Um, I gave them the extra slicks and the spare spark plugs. We got the pipes covered up because it's snowing where he's going, so hopefully that should be good. Um, but other than that, man, I'm going to have these guys be on their way, and... Uh, you know, hopefully you guys, hopefully you guys have, hopefully you guys enjoy this car, bro. As much as I did. Well, I kind of did. I enjoyed it more when it was all motor, but turbo's fun too, man. It makes choo-choo-choo noises, so. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, man. I appreciate you and your purchase, bro. Like, hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll see this out there at the track. That's the car right there, man. The number's still on the window, bro. That's a two-time slip right. for the car. Show people what the car's capable of 10 9 10 7. It's got a lot more in it, and uh, you guys are gonna head to that gas station, right? Yeah, we give you guys this card free gas, so that'd be perfect for that five gallon right there. Right. So just slide it in, fill it up, and that's pretty much five gallons right there. Free, free gas for y'all because right. I'm not gonna need it anytime soon. So Hopefully that help you guys a little bit. If I, I give you another fucking five gallons just so you can take ten gallon back home, but okay. that should be more enough for you because we did six passes in that car. It only took like less than two gallons. So if you guys, you know, that five mm -hmm. gallons should be plenty enough for like a whole track day. The only the only worries is the snow that's up on Donors Pass, but you know the weather is looking kind of good right now. Or uh, it's bad so far. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's still bad. So <laughs> I'm gonna quit rambling here, guys. I'm gonna have them be on their way, man. I appreciate y'all coming out here. Yeah, you know I mean, Thank you. picking up the car for me. I hope you guys take care of it and uh, have some fun with it as well, too, because yeah. I definitely sure did, man. I'm passing it on to the next person. Now, uh, I don't owe anybody a 10 second car anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I have mixed emotions like I kind of missed the car even though he just left like 10 minutes ago but I'm also glad that it's finally gone we did reach our goal with the car and uh, you know how I see it is on to bigger and better things I wouldn't say bigger but better things the coupe over there will make its way to the driveway very soon right now it's just wet i don't want to mess up the yard you know the mud the dirt the grass and uh you know i'm not really in a rush to put that car together anyways because my main focus right now is still on these two but just expect some ej1 content coming here very soon i gave junior the 210 second time slip but this right here is pretty much all the time slip that i've ever done in the car there's the 12 6 there's a 12 4 in here and a lot of mischief passes because of the shift cables but the two most important passes is the 10 9 and 10 7 so uh, regardless of the fact the car performed amazing that day and uh, everything mechanically was working well and the car left as a 10 second car now I kind of want to talk about the pricing of the car if you guys seen the $500 race car build turbo edition video I mentioned in that video and the comment section that I spent about $2,200 into the whole build which includes the s300 and the max solenoid now some may argue with me that I'm going to be deducting some prices off the final build cost of that video which was $2,200 and the reason why I say that is because I removed the s300 from the car 
and it was valued at 600 bucks which is what i bought it for that leaves us at about 1800 bucks and then i removed the s300 and the max solenoid which deducts 600 dollars from the 22 it leaves us at about 1600 dollars and then i bought a new turbo which was 200 dollars from ebay a gt 3582 all ball bearing that brings us up to about 1800 and then we retuned the car on chrome which i'm gonna value at 100 bucks but i actually got the ecu from one of you subscribers so i appreciate that that leaves us at about 1900 dollars, but the exact number will be right there everything else pretty much stayed the same and the car went 10 on chrome so there's no reason for me to leave the price of the s300 in the grand total because it wasn't in the car it wasn't tuned on that ecu and we didn't go tens with it so $1,900 for a 10 second car is amazing. The whole build of the H22 CRX was to show you guys how I was gonna go about going 10 seconds for the cheapest price possible and showing you guys how I did it by fabricating my own things, using stuff lying around. A lot of stuff was sent from you guys and all of that factoring in made it possible for us to go tens. Now I'm not going to claim hardcore that the car is the cheapest documented 10 second Honda on YouTube. If you guys think there's somebody else out there that is cheaper than $1,900 that went 10s documented on YouTube from the car to the track, let me know in the comments below. But right now, as far as I know, I might be the cheapest 10 second Honda on YouTube. So with that being said guys, I am going to end the video here. The chapter for the H22 Turbo CRX is now closed. Junior, I hope you guys enjoy the car out there in Reno. And I hope to see that car out at track really soon because March Mayhem is around the corner. And I'm looking forward to see how raw that car looks on the Bellic rims you picked up. And if you guys saw the live stream on Friday, I did mention that we have one more giveaway for you guys this week. And they are key tags provided by my cousin over at I Feel It. I only have two, so only two lucky winners can win it. And if you guys want to check out my cousin's big cartel, I'll link it in the description below. So in this video, and this video only, hashtag in the comment section below, B2DX I Feel It giveaway. That's it. It's that simple. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video with sadness because I'm pretty sad today. But you know what? We're moving forward. Be sure to hit the like button if you guys have some teardrops in your eye. And if you guys want to stick around for the EJ1 sleeper build, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.